Hello everyone, I am Amiya. Today we will start our third session of chapter 1 that is food for class 6. Here we will discuss about producers, consumers and food chain. What is, what are producers? Those who produce anything are called as producers. Now, what are producers in our ecosystem or in our surrounding? Plants are called as producers. Why? As they can produce their own food by the process of photosynthesis and all the living organisms depend on plants for their food. Directly or indirectly, all depend on plants. Because of these two reasons, plants are called as producers. Now the next question arises, why only plants can produce food? Or how plants can produce food? Green plants have a pigment called chlorophyll in their leaves or the green parts. They can trap sunlight and by taking carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and water from the soil, they produce their food. The process is called as photosynthesis. Now, the second question is those who depend on the plants for their food or those who cannot prepare their own food are called as consumers. So depending on the food the animals eat can be classified as follows. First one is herbivore, carnivores, omnivores, scavengers and parasites. First one is herbivore. What do you mean by herbivores? The animals that eat only plants are called as herbivores. Examples of herbivores are sheep, zebra, giraffe and cow. So many others are there. What are the characters of the herbivores? They are having sharp cutting teeth in the front and grinding teeth at the back. As they are eating the plants which are hard, so they have to cut it. And they have to grind it. So they are having sharp cutting teeth at the front so that they can cut the leaves or the stems and they can grind the hard substances or hard things at the back of their mouth. So they are having grinding teeth at the back. Next comes those animals that eat only the flesh of other animals are called as carnivores. What are the characters of carnivores? They have sharp pointed long teeth to tear the flesh. And the birds have hooked beak. As you can see the eagle is having hooked beak and sharp claws to capture and tear the flesh of any organism. So these are the characters of carnivores. While eating any chicken or meat. What, what are the teeth you use? The side pointed teeth. So these teeth are very well developed in carnivores which help to tear the flesh from the bone. After this we will go for omnivores. The animals that eat both plants and animals are called as omnivores. What are the examples of omnivores? As you can see in the picture, human being, dog, crow, cockroach, these organisms eat nearly both plants and animals. Hen can eat grains, with that it can eat the worms also. Crow eats anything, food items like rice and it can eat flesh of other animals like rat or any killed organism. Dog eats both rice and meat. Bear also eats everything. So these are categorized under omnivores. The next category is scavenger. The animals that eat dead and decaying plants and animals are called as scavengers. These animals are very important in our surrounding because they keep the surrounding clean. For example, these are vulture, hyena, jackal, etc. Crow, 
Some examples are given in the diagram. Next is parasite. What is parasite? The animals that live inside or outside or on other animals for their food are called as parasites. What are the examples? Tapeworm, ticks, lice, mosquito. These are the animals which feed on living organism. Tapeworm feed or leaves inside the intestine of human being who takes all the digested food and leaves inside the intestine of a living human being. Takes leaves on the skin of dogs and animals and take the blood. Bed bug. They also live. They also depend on the blood to live. Next we will go for now. We have studied what is food. All are eating food. All depend on plants for their food. And some depends on the animals for their food. Now when we will arrange them in a sequence it is called as food chain. So what is food chain? The sequence of feeding relationship between the organisms is called as food chain. Food chain always starts with the producers. As in the diagram you can see the food chain is starting with the producer that is tree. And the tree parts are eaten by the giraffe which is a herbivore. And giraffe is eaten by a lion which is a carnivore. Now when we are arranging this food or feeding relationship in a sequence who will eat whom in a sequence it is called as food chain. This is a simple food chain of forest habitat. In the next slide I have given some example where you can see all the food chain are starting from plants. So plants are the producers and who are eaten by the next organism that is herbivore. Then it is eaten by carnivore or omnivores. Here I have given you one example of forest ecosystem or forest habitat. Second one is grassland habitat and third one is aquatic. That is the food chain which occurs inside water. That is water plants or hydrophytes are eaten by small fish. Small fish are eaten by larger fish and larger fish are eaten by birds. Thank you. So here in this chapter we have completed what is food, what are the functions of food, varieties of food, ingredients of food, food materials and their sources, edible parts of the plant, plants as producers, different types of animals and food chain. Thank you.